Okay, now we're moving to division. Division is a little bit different from other operations in that it is can be expressed in a various way. For example, you might have seen division this way. 22 divided by 2, right? This symbol, 22 divided by 2, which is equal to 11. Or you might have seen it this way. 2 divided into 22, which is 11. Or you might even see it this way, okay? maybe not um, told to you in class, but 22 over 2 is also 11. So it could be expressed in terms of fraction or ratio, which also mean similar to these um, operations, okay? these symbols here. So let's do an example of division. So just keep in mind these symbols because um, it could be, this is why I find that students get a bit confused with uh, division and, and also there's techniques in um, uh, doing division. Okay, let's do an example. For example, let's do the following. Let's say you have uh, 12 divided by 3. Okay, now I would suggest you uh, write in this way because uh, it's probably easier to operate division if you do that way. So you, what you do is you go 3 divided to 12 how many times? 4 times, right? 4 times 3 is 12, subtract the difference is 0. Okay, that's normally how we do division using this method, right? So what we want to find is how much is 3 going to 12? We know it's 4. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 12. There's no leftover. So the answer, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. All right? How about 16? 16 divided by 2, for example, if you set it up this way. Uh, six, uh, 2 going to 16, how many times? Well, normally what we do is it goes, does 2 go into 1? No, it doesn't. Does 2 go into 16? Yes, it does. How many times? 8 times. 2 times 8 is 16. Okay, and then you have to subtract that um, number that we just multiplied by. Okay, so 16 minus 16 gives you 0. So the answer for 16 divided by 2 is 8. Alright, let's try another bigger number. 42 divided by 2. Okay, so let's express it this way. 2 divided into 42. Now notice we can go 2 divided into 4 how many times? We can go twice. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, subtract the difference, 0, bring down the 2, okay, that's maybe something new to you, so we bring down the 2, and then 2 goes to this 2, how many times? Once, right, so it's again subtract the difference, and 1 times 2 is 2, so it's 0, so the answer is 21, alright, let's try one last one for uh, 2 digit divided by 1 digit, okay, how about 63 divided by... 3. So we can express it this way. 3 divide into 63. 3 going to 6 how many times? Twice. 2 times 3 is 6. Minus the difference, so that's 0. Bring down the 3. 3 uh, go into 3 how many times? Once. Uh, 1 times 3 is 3. And subtract the difference. That's 0. So the answer is 21. Okay, we just did two digits divided by one digit. Now let's do three digits divided by one digit. For example, let's say we have 312 divided by 3. Okay, again, like I said, set it up this way. You have 3 divided into 312. 3 going to 3 once. So 1 times 3 is 3 minus the difference of 0. Bring down the 1. Now this is the thing, okay? 3 cannot go into 1, so what you need to, as a placeholder of 0, alright? Then you bring down the other 2, so now it's 12. So 3 going to 12, 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract the difference, that's 0. So the answer for this is 104, alright? Let's do another one. Let's say you have um, 416 divided by uh, 4, okay? So we set it up again this way, 4 divided into 416. 4 going to 4 once. 1 times 4 is minus, uh, 4 minus the difference is 0. Bring down the 1, again we can't do it. Use 0 as a placeholder. Bring down the 6, so that's 16. 4 goes to 16 how many times? 4. 
4 times 4 is 16 minus the difference is 0, so the answer is 104. Alright? Let's do another one. Okay. Now let's see. We have. Let's do something that might be a little bit uh, different in the sense that. Or maybe a bigger number. Let's try this one. Okay, so you have um, 712 divided by 4. And again, set it this way. You have uh, 4 divided into 712. 4 going to 7 how many times? Once, right? Can't do twice because that'll be 8. 1 times 4 is 4 minus the difference. Now, the difference is 3. Bring down. So uh, we have to bring down the 1 because 4 cannot go into 3, okay? So you bring down the 1. So 30. 4 going to 30, 1 how many times? I think it's 7 times. So 7 times 4. 28. Now notice I had to guess, right? You know, if you know your uh, multiplication, it much be easier. So if you don't know multiplication, you know that 4 times 7 is 28. If you go 4 times 8, it's 32. That's too much, right? So you got to go one lower than that, which is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract the difference. That's 3. Bring down the 2. You have 32. 4 going to 32. How many times? 8. 8 times 4 is 32. Okay. So the answer for this is 178. All right. Okay, let's do uh, more, because I think division is a little bit more complicated that you have to practice quite a lot. Okay, let's do the following. Okay, this time we are going to have a remainder, okay, and I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. So let's say 818 divided by 4. Okay, so again, set it up this way. 4 going to... Uh, one uh, eight hundred and eighteen. Okay, so four going to eight how many times? Twice, right? So two times four is eight. Subtract the difference. Bring zero. Bring down the one. Four can't go into one, so you need a placeholder of zero. Bring down the eight. So now you have eighteen. Four going to eighteen how many times? Four. Four times four is sixteen. Okay, we have a leftover. You see that? So eighteen minus sixteen is remainder of two. That's why we might no uh, no um meant by remainder, okay? This answer has a remainder of 2. So the answer is 204 with a remainder of 2. Now here's something interesting. I think a lot of teachers may not explain to you about this. The remainder can be actually expressed in a fraction. What you have to do is you put 2 and you see that number that's divided by 4. It's actually 2 over 4, okay? So it's actually 204 and then uh, 2 over 4, which is the same thing as 204 and one half, which is if you convert it, and I'll show you later on how to convert to decimal, which is 204.5. All right, and that's the answer. Okay, let's do another uh, type of remainder question. Okay, let's see. Uh, another piece of paper here. Okay, let's do a last one. Let's say you have 917 divided by 3. Okay, okay again, we set it up uh, this way. We have 3 divided into 917, alright? So 3 going to 9 how many times? 3 times. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9, minus the difference, and you get 0. Bring down the 1, 3 can't go into 1, make a placeholder of 0. Bring down the 7, 17, 3 going to 17 how many times? Well, 5 times, because if you go 6 times the 18, that's a bit too high, so we got to get the lower one. So 3 times 5 is 15, okay? Minus the difference. Minus the difference is 2. Again, we have another remainder of 2. So the answer is 305 with the remainder of 2. And if expressed in a fraction, remember I told you just the previous question, you go 2 over this number that's divis divi divided by, so 2 over 3. So that can be expressed in terms of decimal uh, 6 repeating itself infinitely. Okay. Later on, I'll show you how to convert to decimal. But for now, just uh, we'll just leave that as a bonus, okay? That's point six 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 is forever, or uh, with a line. That's how the mathematician writes it, uh, repeating six.